Our other breaking news out of Wolcott, where a school bus crash this afternoon has sent three students and a bus monitor to the hospital. We're told one of the students was airlifted to Hartford's Children's Medical Center in critical condition. The bus was coming from Tyrell Middle School. All this happening on Todd Road. News 8's Bob Wilson is live tonight with the latest on this. Bob. Yeah, there were some pretty serious injuries on this bus. One student serious, taken to St. Mary's Hospital, then airlifted to uh, CCMC Children's Medical Center in Hartford, and the monitor also in pretty serious condition. You can see the damage to the bus. It looks like it got peeled open like a can opener as it crashed into a large tree by the side of the road. Police now still investigating, trying to figure out exactly what caused the driver to swerve off the road into that tree, and then he continued down the road about 100, 200 feet. Police say they do have a lot of things to look at. There is video inside the bus facing both front and back, so they may have that. There are witnesses right behind. They're going to get subpoenas for the cell phone record of the bus driver. They do have the cell phones. So they can see whether or not he was texting. They're also going to do urine. This is all uh, for drug testing. This is all just standard procedures. It doesn't mean this is what happened. This is what they will be doing. And we talked to one witness who says he heard the explosion. It sounded like a big almost a bomb going off and he came running out of his house and he came running down to help a paramedic that was already on the scene. It was definitely looked like from a movie. You know, I never saw nothing like it, but all all's I just tried thinking was just try to get the blood stopped. You know, the kid was conscious, so I'm happy he was conscious. He wasn't knocked out or nothing. Right now in serious, very serious condition. Uh, two things. They were special needs students. There was a monitor on board, and the students, because of that, were seat belted in. They did have their seat belts on, police say. And the second thing is, they say that there was a paramedic literally driving right behind him, a Waterbury firefighter, either retired paramedic or active paramedic from the Waterbury Fire Department, who was right on the scene as soon as it happened. He got on there. That's when two men gave up their shirts so that they could take care of the wounds right there, and they continued that care until ambulance could arrive and take them to the hospital. So three children in all. One hall monitor will continue to monitor this as the details become available. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Wolcott, News 8.